So, yes, I'm in the same outfit. Yes, I just braided my hair because for as much as I love doing makeup, that's how much I don't like doing my hair. I'm like the girl that just throws it in a bun and stuff all the time. But I realized it looked probably kind of crazy in the last video. So I braided it really quick and I'm just filming while I have a minute because, you know, you just got to do what you got to do when you got time. So this next video I'm going to do is I'm going to do an empties video. So what an empties video just is, it's when you talk about products that you have used completely up or maybe they're expired or you just don't like them so you're throwing them away and then I'll just talk about them briefly and if I would repurchase them just to maybe help you guys with when you're making purchase decisions. So I'm going to go through first of all with this older one which I'm just throwing in. This has been empty for a while. I don't know why I haven't thrown it away. This is by Bare Minerals. Ah, oh, it has completely warmed off, but I think it just says Warmth Color Facial Tone Powder. So this is like when they're selling you those kits and they're like, so I know that this, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a really intense orangey red color. And they're like, I know this is scary, but we recommend using this on everyone. It looks flattering and more power to them. I mean, I ended up using it because at the time I didn't have like bronzers or anything. But it's a very intense, orangey, warm color that I guess you could bronze with if you were very light-handed, which is what I did. But it's still just so orangey and warm that it's not really my style and it's not good for my skin tone where I'm so pale. If you have a deeper skin tone, this could work for you. But honestly, you could just go get a bronzer for a good price and it would work probably even better. So I wouldn't repurchase this. It just came with my kit and I used it because I had it. So there's that. Um, let's go to two things I like. So this one's not quite empty yet. Like it literally has maybe like a day or two left. So I just thought I'd throw it in. This is Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue Refreshing Gel Cream. And it's for normal to combo skin. I'm usually normal to dry. But I, th they either didn't have the one for dry skin when I purchased this. Or it just wasn't stocked in the store I got, I got it at because this was the only one. Um. Overall, I do like this product. I just needed a lighter moisturizer for night is why I bought it. And I thought a gel consistency would be okay. Um, this definitely soaks into your skin way too fast, I would say. Especially where I kind of tend to have a little bit more dry skin. I'd usually put on one layer and then it'd soak in and then I'd come back a little bit later and put on one, another layer. So that was kind of annoying, but like I felt like it did the job if I did two layers when I was like really dry and then one layer sufficed when I wasn't. Um, one thing that may be a drawback for some of you guys is it has kind of a weird smell. Like it kind of smells like it's trying to be a citrusy smell, but it just comes off with a lot of plastic chemically smell mixed in there too. So I kind of wondered how good it can be for my skin. It has, like I said, a very gel-like consistency. I wouldn't say silicone-y because it's not that thick, but it definitely has like, I'm just sitting here smelling away. It definitely has like a plasticky undertone and chemically smell under it so that makes me wonder how good the products are it doesn't actually list the ingredients on here so if you guys are interested enough you want me to look up ingredients and maybe um, put in the comment section below if it has like some weird ingredients in it or something I can do that but honestly like I felt like it moisturized my skin okay um, I liked it enough that I recommended it to my little sister and she just got the dry skin version because she also tends to have dry skin and it's pink instead of green and I used it one night when she was here and it definitely felt more intense like it didn't soak in quite as fast and it felt a little heavier not too heavy for a night cream but it felt pretty good I think it smelled a little better but I don't remember um, I wouldn't be against reusing this product, but I think that I will probably try another one so that I, I'm sure that there's something better out there that I could recommend you guys. So I'm not saying it's like horrible, I would never buy it again, I'm just saying I kind of think there's something out there better. Okay, I'm going to move on past so my camera doesn't die. So the next thing, this has like been one of my like ride or die guys. So this is the Vino Active Naturals Smart Essentials Daily Nourishing Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Broad Spectrum SPF 30. It's got vitamin A, C, and E and protects what you love, it says. Um, I definitely have loved this moisturizer. This is my daytime moisturizer. I think I've used it for a couple of years now, like maybe even more, maybe three or four years, maybe as long as it's been out. I don't know. But I have used this product for a long time. I really like it. Um, I kind of just want to repurchase this, but I'm realizing if I'm going to recommend good moisturizers to you guys that maybe I should try something new. 
I haven't decided yet because it's going to be hard for me because this has just been like a staple in my skincare routine. I like it. It's not too heavy. It does kind of smell like sunscreen and even feels like a lighter sunscreen when you put it on. So I guess if you don't like a sunscreen smell, um, you wouldn't like it. I can smell it when I first put it on, but after I've worn it for a while, I don't really notice. But my husband does. It's a perk in my case because he likes the way sunscreen smells. He was a swimmer swimmer thing I guess lifeguard swim thing I don't know um but I actually like the way it smells I like the way it feels I like the way my foundation goes over it it's just a great product I would highly recommend it I will let you know if I decide to try a new one okay so the last thing is not actually empty but it was a no good thing for me so again if you love this it's okay we all have different skin. So this is a face wash, and it's by that same brand, which is why I'm surprised it didn't work for me. So this is that Aveeno Active Natural Smart Essentials Daily Detoxifying Scrub. So this did not work for my skin. Um, it was too harsh. I, Because of this, I've decided I must kind of have sensitive skin. Maybe that's why those um, makeup removers that I talked about in my last video sting my eyes. Maybe it's because I have sensitive skin. Um, but this does say it's a daily detoxifying scrub, and so I was using it, I don't know if it says how many times a day you should use it, let me look here. Um, it doesn't say if you're supposed to use it twice a day or once a day on here that I can see. Um, at first I was just using it once a day, but I decided I needed to um, get better at taking care of my skin and actually create a skincare routine for myself, which has super helped my skin by the way. Um, but overall, like... My skin is so much better these days. So I was using this once a day, and then once I decided I needed like an actual skincare routine, I started using it twice a day, which I don't know. I mean, it didn't say not to use it twice a day. It just says daily. Um, and I wasn't scrubbing super hard or anything, but it started really drying out my skin. And I actually was trying this Garnier moisturizer at the same time as I started this um, cleanser, and so I didn't know which product it was that was drying out my skin so much. Like I started getting cracking and like built up dead skin around my nose, which I've never had that problem ever. Um, and that was like the first sign is I was getting this cracking and I'm like, this is so weird. I don't, I don't get like that dry built up cracked skin around my nose. And then it started to spread and it got crazy. It just spread to my cheeks and literally my skin got so dry. It looked like old paper where it has those crinkled lines in it, in aged paper. That's how my skin looked. It was so bad. I stopped everything. I really thought about the, both the products and decided I would try cutting out my um, cleanser first. And I did. And, and it had spread, by the way, it had spread to my chin too. It was my chin and my cheeks and my nose area. Um, anyways, I decided to cut out the cleanser. And within three days, my skin was completely better. Um, I do think that was because of the help of both my daytime and nighttime moisturizer and then one another product that I use now in my skincare routine that has honestly been a game changer for me. So if you guys would like me to do my current skincare routine type of video and just let you know the products I'm using and what I do, I can do that because I feel like that product single-handedly may have been what saved my skin after that and helped it bounce back so fast. So anyways, yes, this I would not recommend. If you did use it, maybe just use it once a day. If you have normal to oily skin, if you had oily skin, I'd say you could probably use it twice a day. Maybe it wouldn't be too harsh for you. And then if you have dry skin, I guess you could use it maybe once or twice a week as a more intensive scrub. Because it is supposed to be a detoxifying scrub and it has like little, not beads, but just you can feel something in there. But if you have dry skin, I would say once, twice a week or just don't buy it at all. Because I use a different face wash now, which I could talk on my skincare routine. It's so much better. So yes, I will not be repurchasing this. I thought about giving it to my little sister or my cousin. My cousin has more oily skin, and so I thought about giving it to her, but honestly, it had such a bad, bad, bad impact on my skin that I don't dare give this to anyone because I don't want to be that person that they're like, look what you did to my skin with this product you gave me. So I'm honestly just going to throw it away. If you want to try it, that's great. It's a good price range. I love the moisturizer from this line. I've heard amazing things about the Smart Essentials line in general from Aveeno. It's got really good ingredients. It's, it's just a good affordable drugstore line when it comes to skincare. But that's just something I can't personally recommend because of my experience. So if you've had a good experience, comment below. Let people know. Let them know what kind of skin type you have, how often you use it. Um, because I really like Aveeno products. I really do. Hey guys, so I'm just doing a quick 
update. This is actually next Tuesday, not the Tuesday that I filmed these, and I don't know why I'm wearing the same shirt. I guess this is just purple shirt Tuesday. I didn't know this was a rule, but apparently this is a rule in my life. So I'm just checking in, partly because I totally forgot to film like an ending for that video because my camera kept overheating, but also because I have an update for you guys. So, sorry, I'm like looking at the thing because I'm holding this. I'm trying to see if I'm in the shot. Um, so I repurchased my daily moisturizer and guys, something crazy happened. So, um, I started using it again for like, I don't know, three, maybe four days. And I noticed my skin was actually getting really kind of dry and flaky on my chin area again and right here, which I've just thought for the last kind of few years that was normal for my skin. What I've realized was I went about a week or two without my daily moisturizer. I was just using my nighttime moisturizer, that Garnier one I just talked about. I was using that one day and night until, because I kept forgetting to get a moisturizer, and my skin was actually a lot better. Like, there's some weird bumps that tend to be here, right here on my chin, and they, like, went away, and all that dry, like, little flakiness went away in that area, and then I started using my daily moisturizer again, and it came back. And so that's been like my ride or die moisturizer, right guys? And I just realized that I think that, that that's what's doing that. And so this is just a quick plug. When people are like, what's your skin type? You know, are you normal, combination, dry, oily? Um, people are really quick to like tell you what it is or maybe you'll even think what it is. And I just recommend, you never know what product you're using that may be... Um, doing something to your skin and you've just been using it so long you don't realize like I've just felt like I've kind of had dry skin for the last few years and I don't think I realized it was from this product so all I'm saying is is if you think you know your skin type look at the products you use like if it's maybe your skin's like too oily or too dry I mean if it's normal and beautiful happy for you um but look at your skin type and look at the products that you use on a regular basis and try cutting one out for a few like a week or two and see what happens to your skin just check in on that stuff because i think it's really easy for us to just say oh i have dry skin oh i have oily i mean with oily skin usually that's more of just to do with your body but all i'm saying is just always think about the products you're using and what they might be doing to your skin and as you can see it's easy for this stuff to happen i never realized that i think this moisturizer was um drying out my skin and giving that flakiness I just thought that was where I tended to have flaky skin on my face and dry skin and turns out it's not true it's my moisturizer so I'm taking it back I can't believe this I told you guys in my last video oh I never I never take stuff back well it's only been a month and now I'm about to return something else this is crazy so <laughs> that is good for you guys though because I will be trying a new moisturizer now I'll update with you about it eventually. Um, so I will be repurchasing a new moisturizer probably today or tomorrow. And I will follow up with you guys. But I just wanted to check in with you and to be fair. Because I'd highly recommend that. And I still really like it. So maybe if you're normal to oily skin or even dry skin, like, I don't know. I think I just have sensitive baby skin, I've decided. I think that's what it is. So I still really love that product, but I'm definitely going to try some new stuff now that I figured that out. So again, mix the products up that you use in your skincare routine. Pay attention to the cosmetic stuff you have even and what your skin's like and play around with it and figure out if maybe something you're using is doing something you don't like to your skin. So yeah, that's it. That was a long update, but oh well. <laughs> See you guys in my next video.